Welcome back guys to another episode of laptop optimizations where we take a look at how we can overclock our laptop graphics card or GPU and if it's worth it. Before going for overclocking, let me clear a few things for you. Laptops don't have the best of cooling systems, so you can't expect great overclocking like desktops and you shouldn't push it too far. You should try to keep the temperature of your GPU or graphics card below 80 degrees Celsius always. So keeping that in mind, let's get started. To overclock your laptop graphics card, you'll need a software called Sapphire Tricks. You'll find the link of the software in the descriptions down below. After installing, turn it on. You will be able to see the descriptions of your graphics card here. Now go to overclocking. Here at the top right corner you can see the temperature your laptop graphics card is running at. Then you see two more options, GPU clock which indicates the GPU clock speed and memory clock which shows the memory clock speed. We don't need to change the memory clock as we are not going to play on external high resolution monitors. Now you can increase the GPU clock speed by moving the slider or putting in numbers here. Remember not to push it too far at the start. Here you can see it is running in 825 MHz. So let's put in 870 MHz and then click on apply. You can save your settings. Now play your games for 10 to 15 minutes and see if the average temperature is below 80 degrees Celsius. If you find the average temperature below 80 degrees Celsius then you can go for more overclocks until you are just under 80 degrees Celsius on average. The amount of overclock you can achieve depends completely on the place you live and the cooling system of your laptop. Yes, you can go a bit more higher than 80 degrees Celsius if you are really willing to but just below 80 degrees Celsius is a sweet spot and you will be fine. Now let's talk about if overclocking your laptop GPU is worth it. To be honest due to poor cooling system in laptops you can't get much overclocks. But for those people who have occasional lags can get rid of those lags by having an improvement of somewhere between 6 to 15 fps depending on your laptop cooling system and how much you are willing to push it. But if you are already getting decent frame rates then there is no reason to push your laptop GPU harder. Hopefully this video will help you to decide if you need to overclock your laptop graphics card and how to do it. For more laptop optimization tips click on that i icon. Like the video if you like the video and for more videos like this every week don't forget to subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.